Hello. During our last session, we learned how to find out the mean with the grouped data. But that group was simple grouping of the raw data. It was not in the form of class intervals. Today, we are going to find out the mean which has got the class interval, see this Excel file, class and frequency, class is 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30, 35. See, manually, if you want to find out the mean, you will have to find out the midpoint and midpoint is usually 10 plus 15 divided by 2, 15 plus 20 divided by 2 manually or in excel also there are commands like uh, trim r trim left trim and then you have to find out the two extremes and then find out the mi uh, midpoint but in python we have to understand one thing that this array 10, 15, 15, 20, 20, 25, 25, 30, they are in the form of text. We are to take the upper value and lower value, convert them into numbers and then find out the mid. I have already started Anaconda 3. In Anaconda 3, there are many editors available, but I have the habit of using Jupyter. I have already launched Jupyter and see this Jupyter is already launched. And I have started Python as a new file, Python 3. So our first thing is that we are going to import pandas as pd. See, if you don't want to write pd, you can write anything else. There is no problem. You can write as xd, xp because this is a kind of short name for pandas. Then import numpy as np. We don't need maths, but we can still import math. Okay, we will just run it. If there is any problem, it will tell us. We will run this cell and it will tell us whether there is any problem. Pandas is already there, numpy is already there, maths is there. So we will first, we will import our file which I have shown you just now. This one, this I have saved it in my folder, python, test2. This is an excel file. So we will read the excel file. We will read the excel file. So, I am just going to create this df is equal to pd. Which one, which package will read? Pandas, pd. Dot read underscore excel. Now, excel which file? R. R means that slashes will be reversed. Now I have saved that file python so I will just see its properties this file is in the form of excel excel cx and its path is e slash 6 python so I will copy it and I will just paste it or word slash test 2 
एक्स एल एस एक्स इनवर्टेड कॉमस क्लोज आई विल रन इट एंड देन आई विल सी दिस डी एफ वेदर इट शोज मी नॉट आई विल रन इट एंड सी द डी एफ इट इज शोइंग क्लास फ्रीक्वेंसी वट एवर वी हैव नॉट now our main job is to find out the upper limit upper one lower one then add it and divide it by 2 these two commands are little difficult and long so you can i will copy these commands in description also you can just use those commands for your practice so let us see now what are those commands df this is my square bracket i will open the square bracket again inverted commas upper then comma lower comma again inverted commas lower so this is my my this will be my new kind of data frame upper and lower it will have upper and lower okay d dot df df from where i am going to take this from class class now this one is there class you can see this class i have taken it as from class and that is string because this is a string it is not numerical so it is string dot it will be split with this because this split is 10 15 this has got a small dash and then it is to be expanded comma it should be comma expand expand is equal to true we are going to let us run it this one let us see whether it works yes there is no problem and then uh, we can write down the next command upper plus lower divided by and next one is we are to create the midpoint df midpoint this midpoint is a the variable which we are going to create it midpoint is equal to what is that midpoint that is equal to what we have created upper and lower that is equal to df comma <coughs> df upper upper bracket closed now we have to write it as dot as type which type as type float because it will give us with the decimals we are ready to get the decimals float plus plus df same way as lower as lower <laughs> dot as type float as type float 
now this one will be bracket will be closed and it will be divided by 2 so let us see whether this works yes this runs it is working now let us uh, we have done it now we will df we will drop it we will drop df drop that is upper comma let us run this whether this works run it run this and we'll see it is working let us see now what is our df let us run df now we have got class frequency midpoint 10 15 frequency is 8 as it was there 12.5 15 17.5 now we have got midpoint which is our x frequency there and now it is a job of our last but we have learned in part 2 so we value see this is a, this is a variable value is equal to df mp mp and uh, this will be in the it will be in the we we will like to write it to list to list <coughs> similarly last time we created fq is equal to fq is of df df and uh, which was there free frequency that is frequency and this will also be to list okay and then we can define x is equal to x is equal to np numpy is np dot a v e r a g average 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 of value but weights are equal to f okay and now we can print we can print mean of mean of above data is comma x let us see whether it works let us see whether it works so mean of the data is 24 so we have found out the mean with the class intervals and frequency in this i will repeat main thing is we have to first download our excel file in a, in some data frame in some data and then we have to see the upper and lower limit uh, upper upper will be the string part which is separated by this dash and then we are going to create the mp that is df upper as type float plus df lower as type float float means with decimals number with decimals divided by 2 and then it will drop down to lower upper lower down drop and uh, then we can also create the uh, this one we have already we can create the values and frequencies from top to bottom whatever is there and then we find the mean of this data thanks for watching next video we will start doing with the median median of the raw data and then median of the group data i am taking very small files when the files are very big so then it is difficult to do it in, in normal packages we can work on with the python
Thanks for watching. Wait for the video number 4. Data Analysis with Python Part 4. You may submit your research work at Journal of Global Economy, rcssindia.org. Your work is evaluated by peers with double-blind methodology. You will get comments for your work. Thank you.